Hey guys, welcome back to a video. Man, I haven't recorded in what, three months? I, I would like to apologize for that. It's kind of my fault. I've just been too lazy. Working a lot, let's just say that. Anyways, uh, this is a predictions video of AEW All Out. We have 14 matches and a lot. It's gonna it, it, it's gonna take at least five hours to watch this show. Holy crap! Anyways, we have Dark here, and we got my boy Josh there. They got videos of Dark will have the Clash of the Castle predictions video, and Josh will have the NXT Worlds Collide video on his channel. So you guys make sure you guys will go into the description, click on their channels, so hit that subscribe button, and watch their prediction videos for that weekend. Make sure you guys hit that like button as well, and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Roll the intro. That brings us to our last event of the weekend. AEW All Out. And boy, we have a stacked card for this. 14 matches. 3 on the pre-show, 11 on the main show. Are In Chicago ready? again. In Chicago again. Oh yeah, of course. In Chicago. But are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. 14 matches. All right, we are going to start off with the pre-show matches. Tamahiro Ishii versus Eddie Kingston. And this is going to be a brawl. This, These two are very physical men in the ring. Am I wrong? Not wrong. I am not wrong at all. These two are very physical. Michael, I'll go ahead and let you get us started. So, I feel like Eddie Kingston has a bunch of anger after what's after the beef with him and Sammy Guevara has been going on, which is why the match isn't taking place anymore. So, I'm going to go with Eddie Kingston. I feel like he's going to just take out all of his anger on Tomohiro Ishii. All right. I got to say, I got to agree with you. I think Eddie Kingston will be picking up the victory and you know that'd be a good victory for him this is the second time these two are facing off correct yes this is two yep and who won the first one eddie kingston i think i think i'm actually curious now because this this may actually play a factor in my decision oh i think ishii won all right so if ishii won then that's actually perfect i am going to go with eddie kingston He's going to even the score, and that will lead to a third matchup between these two. Starcraft, go ahead and give your prediction. Same thing. Eddie Kingston. All right, he's a, we he's all a dominant Eddie. force. He a is. force to be reckoned with. Very physical competitor. Yes. Oh, all this, right. That, this match should be interesting. <laughs> it should be. I'm excited for it. And up next, the All-Atlantic Championship will be on the line. The champion, Pac, defends against Kip Sabian. Wait, wait. Is the All-Atlantic all Championship AEW's version of the Intercontinental Champion? I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to straight up say Pac's not losing the title as early. <laughs> um, as much as Kip Sabian is a tremendous competitor in the ring, and this is the first time we've seen him in the ring in quite some time, I just don't see Pac losing. So I pick Pac. Darkcraft, what about you? Um... Throw a wild card. Uh, actually, hmm, this is hard to pick. Yeah, I'm looking at the card right now. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I got the card on my phone. I'm looking at that right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pock is retaining. Pock is retaining this one. Is it retaining? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I yeah. I am also gonna go with Pac. We like we haven't seen Kip Sabian wrestle in over a year since the pandemic area era. So yeah, uh, I'm, like I feel like only. Kip. Yeah, I, I just don't see Kip as a big challenge for Pac. So I gotta go with Pac. All right, and that leads us to our final match on the pre-show: FTW Championship, the champion Hook versus Angelo Parker. Hook. Hook. <laughs> I guess. All right, we all pick Hook. Now we move on to the main show. Let's go ahead and get started with, and this might be the match of the weekend as well. There's so many match of the weekend contenders. Like, oh yeah, it's such an exciting time to be a wrestling fan. The AEW Trios Title Tournament Finals. The Elite, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. And let's just take a second and appreciate. We're recording this after on Wednesday night after Dynamite. Let's just appreciate the amazing matchup we just witnessed between the Elite and Will Ospreay and Aussie Open. That was Fantastic an incredible match. matchup. Um, after it was announced last week, I was so hyped for tonight. Right, like that's that's a dream match. 
It was. Yeah. Oh my god, such a good match. Right, and the Elite, of course, picked up the victory, so they are in the finals, and they will face either the Dark Order or the Best Friends. I'll just straight up give my prediction for that for the Rampage final right now. I think the Dark Order and Adam Page will defeat the Best Friends and move on to the finals. So I am predicting the Elite versus the Dark Order, and my final prediction for the finals, the Dark Order will be your first AEW Trios champion. Starcraft. <laughs> Um, I, oh wait, there's to be announced, or is it, who was the third competitor? So the second competitor, whoever's facing the Elite, is the other semifinal matchup is the Dark Order versus the Best Friends. Oh, it's still, or is it, is it finished? You can it, predict it, the it, winner. Yeah. Between Dark Order and Best Friends. So the Best Friends, I'm guessing, has, uh... Orange I, Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, and Tremberetta. Okay, and the Dark Order... Has, John uh, Silver, yeah. Alex Reynolds, and Hangman Page. Hangman Page. Um, the best friend. Going with the best friend for that one. All right. And then who do you think wins uh, at All Out? At All Out. Uh huh. Um. And I guess the the uh, the elite's gonna win. The elite's gonna win that one. All right. Okay. That leave Michael. So I feel like the Dark Order and Hangman Page will beat the best friends, and then we're gonna get the elite versus the Dark Order and Hangman Page, and then we're gonna get a little history, you know, with Kenny Omega and Hangman Page and the Bucks again. And I feel like Hangman is just gonna turn on the Dark Order, join the elite again. And then boom, the Elite is your trio's tag team champions. And then Hangman goes for the world title. And we go from that trio's match to another trio's match. Wardlow and FTR, the TNT champion Wardlow, and the Triple Crown tag team champions. What is it? Ring of Honor, IWGP, and don't tell me, don't tell Blah. me, don't tell me. Oh, Triple fuck, A, sorry. Triple A. Yeah, Triple A. Triple A. FTR is one of the greatest tag teams in the world right now absolutely and um they're teaming with warlow as i mentioned and they're taking on jay lethal and the motor city machine guns yes michael you seem really excited go ahead and get it started i love the motor city machine guns from impact wrestling they're such an amazing tag team uh ever since i saw them wrestle like on tv i was like holy sh these guys are really good and i became a fan since day one but i gotta go against them nobody can beat my boys ftr and especially if you're going against the wardlow so i gotta go with wardlow and ftr all right darkcraft what are we thinking i'm going with ftr and wardlow as well all right and i also think ftr and wardlow uh you know i just don't see them being beaten but i think it'll be a fun matchup to watch okay, well cool. this next matchup i have is a fatal four-way matchup for the aew interim women's championship tony storm dr Britt baker jamie hater and yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no 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 no, no. E we're not doing the discount eli drake thing we don't do that shit here we're not doing that okay la night eli drake la night max dupree max dupree oh wait yeah, I said it wrong. Yeah. Max do pre. Anyways, moving on. Yes, Storm Baker, Hater, and Hikaru Shida. Tony Storm is gonna win this. I think she was gonna beat Thunder Rosa for the title, anyways. So I, I'm going Tony Storm, Michael. This is a real tough decision here. Either you can get Jamie Hater betraying Baker, Baker betraying Hater, or Tony Storm winning it for the first time, or Hikaru winning it for the second time and having another great reign. I kind of wanna see Hikaru. Carl Sheeta have another fantastic reign with the title. She had a great first reign. I think she's the greatest women's champion in AEW. A lot yeah, of people I agree. disagree with me on that, but yeah. All right, Dark. You know, I'm going with Doctor Britt Baker. It's gonna take the interim AEW Women's Dr. World Britt Champion, Baker, huh? The new general manager <laughs> of all the. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say, you know what I mean. The interim I AEW know, women's right. world champion, and she's gonna face Thunder Rose. I'm gonna start watching AEW now. <laughs> this guy got me, he's gonna get in me and get me into it. Same with me, honestly. Mike Michael is starting to get me in AEW, and I appreciate him for that. So yeah, thank yeah, you, Michael. Yeah. You guys are welcome. Yeah. Okay. Up well, actually, this is next. the second match I'm excited for. Actually, this is gonna be a good. The casino ladder match. Claudio is... Castanoli. I think I said that right. Yeah, I know him as Cesaro. People who don't watch yes. AEW. Claudio Castanoli, who is the ROH World Champion. Wheeler Yuta, who is the ROH Pure Champion. They both represent BCC Blackpool Combat Club. Also yep. in the matchup, Penta El Diero Miedo and Ray Phoenix. Of course, Phoenix. Both representing the Death Triangle. Phoenix? Ray Phoenix? Phoenix. I've always heard it pronounced Phoenix. I don't know why. Phoenix. It's because you're white. Ha <laughs> ha 
We have Roosh. I couldn't yeah. roll my R's that well. Roosh. At least I knew how to pronounce that. I can roll my Andra R's. I'm not rolling my R's. Andrade El Idolo, Dante Martin, and of course, the Joker. Let's go ahead and get started on who we think the Joker will be. Michael. Well, looking at the competitors, it's all tag teams going against each other. Dante Martin, he has a tag team partner. He has a brother who's injured. So I think it's going to be Darius Martin returning. Okay. All right. Darkraft, any predictions on who the Joker might be? I told you I had, I'm just going to stop watching. I don't know. <laughs> To be honest. <laughs> Just pick anybody. Yeah, it can be a release talent from WWE going. It's been happened before. Been before, I did. Mm, maybe Eric Redbeard. Eric Not Redbeard? a bad pick. Yeah. Yeah, He's been on AW. Alright, yeah, this is a little... Wasn't he there the other... Uh, so, weeks ago? Wasn't he in there? Weeks yeah, ago? like two weeks ago. This is a little wish-worthy for me. And by the way, this will be a question on the uh, on the predictions who you think the Joker will be. But for me, I think the Joker, and this is sort of a wish. I'm not sure if it'll come true. Probably won't. I want to see my man, the man of the hour, Leo Rush, make yeah. his return to wrestling in the casino ladder match. Now we have to pick a winner. And it's going to be somebody in my... I think it's going to be somebody from Blackpool Combat Club. And... I'm going to go with Claudio Castanoli. I think he will win the casino ladder match and face AEW world champion. We'll get to that later on. Michael, who do you think will win? Oh my god. I would love to see any of these guys. But from past, I would love to see Wheeler Yuta face Moxley one more time. All right. And Dark? I'm going with... Um, I'm going with uh, Claudio as well. Uh, the Black Bull as well. Yeah. Well, we all oh. picked a Blackpool Combat Club member, so we're sort of on the same page is it, here. Is it run yeah. by, uh, I forgot who's the manager for it, uh, William Regal? Or Regal. Yeah, yeah. William yeah. Regal. Yeah. If you guys, fact, if you did not know, in the 90s, 80s, when he was, I think, WCW or local promotion in the UK, he used to be named Stephen Regal. Not Definitely. like yeah, Lord not Stephen like, Regal. Not like Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, S-T-P-H-E-N, I think, if I spelled it right? Yep. I believe I can't remember. I'll correct but, myself um, in the edit <laughs> if I did spell yes. it right. Um, but regardless, the casino ladder match is going to be fun to watch. You have so many high flyers. That honestly might be match of the night. You know, because it's a ladder match. You have a lot of high flyers who will like do flippy shit off the ladders. Oh, that'll be fun. Especially Phoenix. Phoenix and Penta. Yeah. And Dante. Dante Phoenix. is going to be fun and to Dante. watch. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that. So we all have our predictions for the Joker. We all have our predictions for the winner. We move. So we're, we're staying with the Blackpool Combat Club theme for a second here. We have the American Dragon. Brand, I almost said Brian. Brian. What? Brian. I don't, I don't know what I was trying to say. The American Dragon, Brian Danielson, taking on the Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Um, you know, this match has so much story to it you know they faced off in wwe they faced off nine um, years ago yeah 10 years ago or 12 years ago actually like in nxt you yeah. know yeah, that was yeah. debut match daniel bryan's debut match in wwe i feel old yeah man so do i because you know <laughs> nexus wasn't too long after that and i remember loving the nexus when i was little but, i was afraid um, of the nexus <laughs> i don't blame you but then um, i bought the armband no uh, cool 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 yeah <laughs> but um yeah this is gonna be a fun matchup dark i'll go ahead and let you get us started on this one you know the american dragon brian danielson is gonna win i yeah. think that's a fair prediction michael what do you think i am also gonna go with brian danielson because i feel like jericho uh is probably gonna try and do some sneaky stuff in the match and then daniel garcia will come out to the ring and stop chris jericho and then leave the jericho appreciation society and become a future blackpool combat club member and become a professional wrestler instead of a sports entertainer you know i absolutely agree with you i think daniel garcia will come out and he will definitely get involved in this matchup and he will cause Brian Danielson to get the victory and I really really would love to see a Daniel Garcia versus Chris Jericho match sometime in the near future um I think that would be a banger but yes um I also picked Brian Danielson to win this match let's go ahead and move on the AEW Tag Team Championships. Swerve in our glory, the champions. Of course, you know them as Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. They will be taking on one of my favorite tag teams in AEW, The Acclaim. Wait, I want to- uh, Listen. To I didn't mean to interrupt. Thank, thank God WWE did not copyright, like take, uh, um, what do you call it? Copyrighted his name so he can use it wherever he wants. Who, Keith Lee? Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah. bask in his glory. And that is, as much as I hate to say it, that's exactly what the Acclaimed is going to do. They're going to bask in the glory of Swerve Strickland and Keith Lee because Strickland and Lee will retain the titles. Whoever wants to go, go ahead. Okay. So in this match, I love both teams uh i love keith lee i love strickland bowens and caster cohen or caster reminds me of a younger more hipper john cena the doctor yeah. of thugonomics he keith sort of reminds lee. me of a mixture between john like, cena for one second I was, like, I, was, killings. I was like who are you talking about that i remember they did some uh, rap they, they do the rapping when they come out right right yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but as i was saying like he definitely gives me like a mixture of cena and Ron the Truth Killings. <laughs> oh, that man don't age. It's for real. But, oh, um, man. I'm, I love both teams. I don't want to see them fight. But I got to go with Swerve and our glory. You uh, know, I, th- I think it's a good pick. Yeah, yeah. I guess that Starcraft leaves me. I'm going with S I O G. Swerving our glory is going to win. If you put it, if you put all the letters together, it says Sodge. <laughs> <laughs> if we put the letters together please but, never go by that please yeah. please yeah yeah don't that let tony don't do that well, I, if you want to put the letters together just put dots between them that would look even more cooler precisely <laughs> yes and up next this is the match with the absolute best build to aew all out jungle boy or as he said on dynamite uh, 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 jack perry jack harry will be taking on christian cage this is gonna be a vicious matchup the grudge match and i'll go ahead and let you get us started michael i'm gonna go with jack perry man like christian cage has been talking so much crap about uh jack perry's father uh luke perry rest in peace sir um and Jungle Boy just needs to get his aggression out and kick Christian Cage's ass. And then do a concerto to finish the job. I absolutely so Jack Perry. All right. Darkcraft, what do you think? I'm going to go the other direction. I'm a classic guy. I'm a classic guy. I'm going with Christian Cage. Christian Cage is no, going to Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm going with Christian Cage. I know it's going to be an unpopular opinion, but I'm a classic guy. You know, I got to agree with Michael on this one. Jack Perry for the win. And, you know, he's just going to kick Christian Cage's ass. And I'm all here for it. And we move now to another Did I matchup. I see with- Jack Perry, Jungle Boy, call Christian a pussy or something? Oh, he sure did. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I was like, what the? <laughs> That's yeah. the first time I ever heard pussy on wrestling, I think. Another match with a great build. Ricky Starks, Powerhouse Hobbs. Of course, two former teammates going at Literally, it. Hobbs turned on him. Out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. um, I was so shocked. I was too, but I think it's good for Ricky Starks to be able to branch out on his own. I think he has that potential. Yeah, Um, I agree. But I'm going to go ahead and say... Ricky Starks is going to beat Powerhouse Hobbs. He is going to get past him and, uh, you know, focus on his singles. Uh, well, I mean, obviously he was FTW champion, but who really counts that as an actual championship other than Taz? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go with Ricky Starks on this one. Michael? I am also going to go with Ricky Starks because I've been a fan of Ricky Starks for a little over a year, even though he was a heel, but he is just a fantastic wrestler. His charisma is great. I love his little, his little pose. And- and, I don't know. I just love Ricky Starks. He's such a great wrestler. Powerhouse Hobbs is just another big man, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Ricky Stark. All right. And Darkcraft? Going with you guys. I don't have any knowledge about this match. I'm just going to go with the majority. I don't have any of All right. Ricky Starks for all of us. We got three matches left, ladies and gentlemen. Starting with the TBS title. Jade Cargill, the champion, defending against Athena, um, also known as Ember Moon, for those of you who watch WWE. Um, but I'm glad to see Athena in AEW. I'm glad to see her thriving there it seems like and i think she could potentially win this match but now nah, i gotta go with my prediction i think jade cargill will retain and continue her undefeated streak michael so right now she is 36 and 0 36 and 0 as tbs champion athena i love athena but she hasn't really done much in aew to in my opinion earn this title match i mean so, just scare her down or whatever yeah and debuting that that's basically it. So I, I got to go with Jade Cargill. Unless you can find a real worthy opponent for Jade Cargill, then I will switch. But for now, I got to go with Cargill. All right, and Darkcraft. I'm going to go with the opposite. She might pull an upset and win and get the TBS championship. She, you, you don't know what is going to happen. Wrestling I think it's general, possible. Yeah, she might pull I think an upset. She possible. might win. Michael is just looking at me. 
<laughs> Give me a look. <laughs> All right, we now move on. This is our third. This is our third trios match. I just realized we have three trios matches on this card. How, you gotta oh, get like, all the cards out. One second. How does WWE not have a trios championship yet? They had it back in the '90s and the '80s. They had it back in the '80s, like, like when. They, I mean, like, Triple, just H is, Triple H has ordered new titles. Maybe yeah. new trios. You never know. The House of Black. Brody King, Buddy Matthews, and of course, Malachi Black will take on the team of Darby Allen, Sting, and Miro. This is going to be a fun matchup to watch as well. Lots of great talent, and, you know, Sting can go, still go at his age. Like, he's just still, for his age, he's incredible in the ring, in my opinion. Um, Because he's got to be, what, in his 60s now, right? 63, I think. I'm going to fact check you on that. Of he course. 63, yeah. Yeah, 63. Wow. And, you know, he's still, I mean, he obviously he only really wrestles pay-per-views and stuff, like sometimes occasionally on Dynamite or Rampage. But, um, you know, so cool to see him still in the ring, still doing what he loves, especially after that scary injury he had against Rollins back at Night of Champions 2015. Um, yeah. is, is he gonna hug Tony Khan is going to re-break his back by hugging him too hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I got to go Miro, Allen, and Sting on this one. Michael? In this match, I'm excited. Uh, I feel like... Like Julia Hart is gonna interfere, and then we finally get the debut of CJ Perry, Lana herself, and attack Julia Hart, and then boom, Miro, Darby, and Sting get the victory. All right, and Darkraft. Yeah, I'm going with Miro and Darby and Sting. Wasn't Sting and Darby? I was. Nope. 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 Because no, they, they were never. Have that, they have that vibe for some reason. I see some of their stuff. Together. I mean, I could see that. Yeah. This match is interesting. What the the main event? Yeah. A rematch of a very poor matchup between these two. No, it wasn't. It it was well deserved. I mean, yeah, it was well deserved on the part of Punk, but like as fans, fan like that's <laughs> saying a poor match. It was. It was. Yeah, it was well deserved. But at the same time, like as a fan, you want to see these two have a good matchup, and hopefully we get that at all out. The AEW World Champion John Moxley takes on CM Punk. We're in Chicago. It's all out. Michael, go ahead and get us started. <laughs> I'm going with Moxley. Fuck CM Punk. Go back into retirement, you little bitch. Damn. Please Whoa. go back into retirement. Bro, I heard he's unhappy in AEW. Like, why are you unhappy? You became the champ. Oh, you got hurt. Okay, it's your fault. Don't jump into the crowd. Yeah. All right, Darkraft, what do you think? Yeah, it's time for the new... He, he needs to retain. At this point, let the new guys... Let the new guys be up there, to be honest. New talent should be up there instead of, like, the old guys from, like, from 2009, 2000, like, 14, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there should yeah. be new guys running the scene instead of, like, the old fellows. And I also want to say that MJF will come out at the end of the match, and then we get a rematch between MJF and Moxie again. I'm also going with Mox to retain. Um, and yes, MJF will come out. He will end up facing either one of these, whoever wins the championship. But um, I, I think MJF will win the championship one day against whoever wins this matchup. But any I think Moxley's going to retain here. And Wow, all right. Look at all those predictions, guys. Or, right. yep, 14 matches. Really excited for uh, Sunday night. It's gonna be a crazy night because we have two pay per views at the exact same time. So, it's gonna be a fun day. And, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you guys go check out Dark's channel. Make sure you guys go hit that, uh, check out Josh's channel for the predictions video of Clash of the Castle and NXT Worlds Collide. And I'll see you guys later, hopefully. Nah, I'm just kidding. I will. I'll come back with some videos, I promise. Roll the outro.